Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are Chaos on the Move. I'm Matthew. I'm Jennifer. And uh, today we wanted to talk about the top five. That's right, five. That's right, five. I'm being goofy, sorry. Most asked questions. Yep, the questions that get asked the most uh, from people whenever they ask us, where are you guys from? Uh, so, question number one. Hold on. You are gonna hear kids in the background. We are at a playground right now, letting the kids kind of play with some other kids. So, don't mind that, please. Um, fun. Yeah. So, question number one, of course, the famous question is, "What do you do?" <laughs> how do you make that work, living in an RV? Like, how, how do you how do you make your money? Um, so, as you guys, if you've seen our previous videos, you know that we own a semi truck. So that's our income. We will book a load from uh, A to B, like Tampa to Nashville, something like that. Uh, and then I will drive the semi with the freight and we she'll drive the pickup truck with the travel trailer and the kids in the truck. And we will just kind of tandem all the way up there. Uh, we'll stop for fuel for the pickup truck. We will stop at a, a truck stop that we can either boondock at or um, we will stay somewhere that I could park a truck close enough to a campground so we can get into overnight just really depends on the weather yeah but if it's if it's nice enough outside we'll just boondock because as a truck driver we get free showers at the major truck stops pilot flying J Petro stuff like that um, whenever you get so much fuel so we get a free shower and we can just go in there and get a shower um, let her shower with the kids I'll shower and then we just meet back up in the camper and we do what we need to do. Also, sometimes um, he might be on a load somewhere and I might just be like, okay, ready for a change and bounce, see, bounce out. Um, that's not uncommon for us to do either. Um, it really just kind of depends on where any of us want to go. Even if the kids are sick and tired of a place, we're like, you know, us two, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Like if she wants to go from Tampa to Atlanta and I'm in Nashville, I'll book a load from there to wherever and we'll meet up and, you know, make it work. We'll meet along the way to the next location. Um, most we always of the time, find a way to make it work. Yeah. Like he'll be like 300 miles away or something like that. And I'll just be like, you know, instead of worrying about getting a load back, I'll just meet you there. And then from there we'll go to wherever the next place is. Um, it's pretty question, simple. Anyways. So question number two. <laughs> um, why did you decide to do this lifestyle? Why not? That's the short answer. Why not? Yeah, we, I mean, most of the time when we tell people that we full-time RV, we get two reactions, one of disgust and one of, like, enjoyment, interest, intrigue. Um, we don't usually get anything between that. Um... The disgust is usually just like a, oh, okay. Um, and honestly, I'm surprised that some of the people that have heard haven't, I don't know, like said worse things because their reactions aren't great. Um, <laughs> That's true. It, it's, it's funny whenever we're talking to people and they ask like, oh, you live in an RV. And you can just kind of tell, like, how their wheels are turning in their mind. And it, you just have a little fun with it. Um, but most of the time, it's genuine curiosity from people. And, you know, those are kids playing, as you probably hear. Uh, so, yeah, it's, I mean, why not? We get to see the world. We get through the country, at least so far. Um, our kids get to learn hands-on. <clears throat> and... Yeah, I mean, it's, there's so many reasons why not to do that. Um, it just seems like the smart thing to do. We're remote. We can go where we want with the truck and see what we want to see and stay as long as we want. I mean, we lived in the house, and we honestly spent more time traveling in the semi than we did at our house. <coughs> Excuse and me. And so when we found out that our house was sold to us illegally, um, we just kind of were like, okay, what do we do next? And it just made sense. We already traveled a lot. Um, why not have a place for the kids and I to be instead of inside the semi all the time? And we also had two dogs at the time. So it just gave us more space, honestly, than what we were 
using traveling before and we were able yep. to see more as we traveled whereas in the semi we weren't seeing as much as we had liked so question number three trace what is it most commonly questioned i forgot we talked about it so do you homeschool or something <laughs> yes. yes we do um so we do homeschool we do not stick to a strict curriculum. We kind of let the kids guide us through their curriculum. I'm not gonna put them on a curriculum and say, this is what you have to learn. The whole reason for us homeschooling is so that way they can learn their way. Um, they can learn hands-on. They learn as we go places. So when we go to Tennessee, they learn about the capital, they learn about the city or how old the city is or the animal, it just kind of depends really on their age le level um, and what they're ready to learn next. Yeah, I think it's pretty simple. We just let them, like, our oldest is reading. Um, we tried to get her to read through some uh, workbooks and we, we forced it and it was a nightmare. It was a fit every day and just a full-blown fight. I was um, crying. She was crying. <clears throat> it was, yeah, it was, it was bad. Um, so we wound up just saying, you know what, they're going to let you do you, let you take care of it on your own. Um, and she actually found a book that she wanted, the Descendants Diaries from yes. the Disney movie Descendants. And but before that, we were doing Hooked on Phonics. She does enjoy Hooked on Phonics. Yeah. It just wasn't advancing her. So she was constantly working with Hooked on Phonics to try to do better. He's watching her climb up on something. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so she was doing Hooked on Phonics, and she was really, like, just not... She was kind of sitting stagnant. And then she found a book that she really liked, the Descendants book he was talking about, and she wanted it. Hold on. Excuse me. Hey, let's not do that. Navi. Thank you. Anyway, so she found a book. I told her that if she wanted it, she had to learn to read because I was not gonna read this entire book to her. And before we knew it, she was really trying to advance herself. She really wanted to work harder on it. And so it kind of gave her that little push that she needed to be able to continue through. Yeah, she was reading billboards and street signs and just, yeah. uh, we'd walk into a store and she's reading everything she could possibly read. So. And um, still to this day, she loves to read now. Yeah, it worked out because we just gave her a goal, and she's she's determined to do it, so it's nice. Um, Our youngest isn't quite ready for kindergarten yet, so she hasn't really had to be pushed into a whole lot, <laughs> but she does work like with dinosaur stuff. Dinosaurs are her thing. She could tell yep. you anything there is to learn about dinosaurs. She loves um, yeah, and then also because she's really interested in dragons, she's into like the Viking era as well, um, Renaissance, stuff like that. So we try to like, again, go with what they love and kind of teach through that. It's pretty simple. I guess it's more of an unschooling method, which I know a lot of parents do the full-time RV. Uh, it's working for us. Um, it doesn't kids, work for everybody. No, it doesn't. I mean, some kids need a strict curriculum. Uh, some some kids some families need a very strict uh, like daily routine uh, we don't really have that we kind of just like live life however it works out for us it works out and we can't really complain uh, so yeah I think that answers question number three so let's move on to four so how do you pick where you go um, I think that's pretty simple we just kind of pick somewhere we want to go and go it's uh, we look into, is there a truck stop nearby, because we have to have somewhere to park the semi. Um, what does the freight look like going in and out of that area within like a 200 mile radius? And we just decide if that's something we want to do. Is this like a, how's the weather there? Is it, you know, just the basic questions of uh, how is life there? So we answer those questions and we decide whether or not we want to go there. So that's. It's pretty simple. Uh, I don't think it's too difficult. It's to... simple for the most part. I mean, we do have difficulty at times because we do have a wide open map and it's, it can get a little overwhelming. Yes, a part two to that question um, that we get a lot is what about like weather? That also sometimes determines where we're going to go. Yeah. Um, we don't 
typically like to be in Texas, Oklahoma area during like the high tornado season just because it is such a high risk. Um, we also don't, I wouldn't say we really avoid hurricanes just because those are so unpredictable. Um, if we need to, we can pack up and move. Yeah, um, but as far as like tornadoes, we do try to watch that. And then of course the snow, like we're not gonna be in super heavy snowfall um, just because our camper can't really handle that and it, it would be a lot. I mean, we have a, the one extended season camper. So they say, but it's still harsh on the camper. We try not to put too much wear and tear on it as far as that is concerned. Yeah. Uh, we've been in some weather that our camper actually lifted on one side. That was pretty scary. He was in the slide, I was in the kitchen, and we both just about hit the floor. <laughs> when, you, when you're in a storm like that and you can feel the camper actually like lift and then step back down, that's pretty scary. Yeah, it kind of changes your whole outlook on things. And honestly, it wasn't even a storm. It was just heavy winds. It was yeah. sunny outside, but heavy winds, and it just kind of picked us up. So after that, we tend to be a little bit more cautious and watch that a little bit more. So question number five is, how do the kids like it? Yep. Uh, we think our kids like it. They're enjoying the playing ground right now, so. Hey, come here. We'll bring Nevelina over here and ask her. How do you like full-time RVing? Uh, it's great. Do you enjoy it? Yes, I never want to stop. Is there something you don't like about it? No. What's your favorite part? Do you have friends in a lot of states? Yeah, and then they always move away. <laughs> you have yeah. a lot of RVer friends, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So hey, Rayleigh, come here. Can you tell them? Do you like RVing? I like RVing. Hold up. <laughs> come, okay, here. come here. Come here. Come here. She wants to show us how good she can do on the monkey bars. They enjoy RVing. We get to do stuff like this. Um, I mean, we were just at the Wikiwachi River on a canoe. Um, I mean, there's a lot of great things that we get to do. You and, got it. Um, I mean, it's exciting for everybody, so I think, yeah, our kids like it. Well, at least that's what we tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Here, she wants to show you how good she is on the monkey bars. <laughs> Woohoo! Can you do the big ones now? All right, she's uh, going to show you how good she is. <laughs> Oh, good jump. <laughs> Woo! You got one more to go. Oh, look how strong you are. Very nice. High five. You gonna do the other ones now? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Almost. You almost made it. Anyway, so that is that for our five questions. If you want to see more videos like this, please let us know in the comments what you want to know. If you have questions about anything with our lifestyle as far as trucking or the RV, anything like that, um, feel free to leave a comment. Follow us on Instagram at chaosonthemove and nomad.trucker. And we also have the trucking side of this uh, is nomad.trucker. That's the YouTube channel for just the trucking side of it or, or more of the trucking side. Basically, so, you're only going to see him there. Ah, not, not so much. <laughs> you see a little bit of me and a little nah. bit of everything. Yeah. Um, anyway, so check out both channels. Subscribe to both channels. Like, share, and tell all your friends about it. And we'll see you next time. Stay safe. Bye.